boy, has things changed. I remember a time where the biggest thing was don't do business on a phone. I guess that was thrown out the, the window, per se, because now people are doing business by Facebook Messenger. Yes, there was a member of the Pagans Motorcycle Club just sentenced for doing such a thing. Interesting times, man. Interesting times. Also, we're going to be talking about the bagger races today, as well as some good stuff happening in the uh, community. And then, sad state of affairs, man. There's been another motorcyclist killed and at least they got this guy and we're going to be covering that uh shortly don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel also we got some cool t-shirts happening man go over to our support store check that out proudhooligan.com let's get to the news today let's got let's just skip the intro shall we uh here we go good stuff here harley davidson going for the 2022 to king of baggers title with kyle wyman again rock and roll man i love the bagger races if you don't love the bagger races something is wrong with you just saying goes on to say and this is out of auto evolution what started out like an insane idea not long ago quickly turned into one of the most spectacular New racing series for motorcycles on the calendar. In 2022, this is going to be the third year in the row that Moto America Mission King of the Baggers will pit Harley-Davidson's against Indians once more on some America's most famous tracks. Hell yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be popular, man. I love all kinds of racing. But bagger racing, you know, is right up there with flat tracking, man. Uh, last year, the competition was uh, won by Kyle Wyman, uh, riding into uh, battle a race prep uh, road glide special for the Harley Davidson Screaming Eagle Factory Racing Team. He will do the same this year, accompanied on the starting grid by his brother, Travis Wyman. Both will use the same bikes for the task at hand. This co uh, year, the competition opens up in Daytona, uh, the Daytona 200. Uh, it's going to comprise six races this time, taking place following the season opener in April, June, July, September at Michelin uh, Raceway uh, in Atlanta. Road America, WeatherTech in Laguna, uh, Brainyard International Raceway, and New Jersey Motorsports. Uh, aside from his own team, Harley will back other riders using its bike with a $110,000 cash contingency program. Harley's involvement in racing will not be exclusive to the King of the Baggers, albeit its presence somewhere will be limited. For the 2022 Progressive American Flat Track, uh, the company's ready to pump 225000 uh, in contingency funds for qualified racers uh, in the Super Twins class, 195 in the uh, AT or AFT production twins. Uh, the funds will pay first the 10 place in each class, extra 20 thou for production twins and 50 thou for Super Twins rock and roll right there man so kyle wyman going for the gold again sad state of affairs here sad state of affairs ocala motorcycle club ride ends in tragedy when an 80 year old rider dies in a crash sad state of affairs uh, the 80-year-old uh, motorcycle rider was killed and another rider, age 74, was injured when they crashed in a rural section of northeast Marion County. The Florida Highway Cont uh, Patrol no longer includes names in its news releases. The agency only gave the men's age and said both were from uh, Ocala. The motorcycles, one riding in front of the other, were westbound on Northeast 90th Street about a mile east of Baseline Road, 
According to the patrol, the younger man who was in front was coming around a corner when he lost control of the bike and left the roadway. The rider returned to the roadway and the trailing motorcycle struck the lead one. Troopers said the two motorcycles rolled at least once. Both riders were transported to Ocala Regional where the rider of the second motorcycle had died. Uh, the other one uh, suffered non-life-threatening injuries. It looks like one of them's on a trike. Uh, sad state of affairs right there. Our thoughts go out to the families. Now from the United States Department of Justice. Pagan's Motorcycle Club member sentenced to 10 years for trafficking methamphetamine. Uh, Zachary Lee Miller, 28, was sentenced to 10 years and four years of supervised release by the United States District Judge Robert Colville. In conjunction with the sentencing hearing, the court was informed that the Greater Pittsburgh Safe Streets Task Force led by the FBI, conducted a long-term investigation into drug trafficking activity occurring in the Western, uh, Western District of Pennsylvania. Law enforcement identified several individuals suspected at the time of illegally distributing controlled substances. During the investigation, investigators learned of individuals involved uh, associated associated with Pagan's uh, Motorcycle Club, responsible for the dist uh, distributing meth. Uh, Miller, here's what's so weird, if you ask me. Miller used Facebook Messenger primarily to communicate with his drug customers, associates, to further their illegal drug trafficking activity. Facebook Messenger. You know, Signal might have been a little easier, if you know what I mean, just allegedly. Even though none of them are secure, if you ask me. You shouldn't be doing this type of business on Facebook Messenger. What's wrong with these new jacks? Invest, uh, in addition to the evidence obtained via Facebook Messenger, and yes, they will hand it over. And by the way, Facebook owns WhatsApp it's not secure. They'll hand it over in a heartbeat. Uh, revealing large-scale transactions, they uh, conducted a controlled purchase of meth from them and conducted physical and electronic surveillance of members of the conspiracy. Now, there was a co-defendant in this, Jessica Palmer, who had already been sentenced, were pulled over by the Pennsylvania State Troopers in a vehicle with suspended registration. They obtained uh, consent to search the vehicle and located six ounces of meth in the trunk of the vehicle. Why would you, like, drive around with a suspended... Re uh, you know what? I'm just going to read the news. Just going to read. <laughs> uh, in all, he conspired to and did possessed with the intent to distribute and distributed at least 500 grams but less than 1.5 kilos of meth including approximately six ounces of meth seized on the 15th of february 2020 if you want to read the rest of the release as always all the articles are in the description box good stuff here good stuff all female motorcycle club roars into richmond to donate to the youth center uh the night riders an all-female motorcycle club based out of bay point stopped by the bay area's girls club at 260 broadway on uh to deliver a donation of 1050 to the organization that uh, serves local girls it's certainly not their first visit to the center. The Knight Riders have enjoyed a 10-year partnership with the Bay Area Girls Club, centered on providing young girls in the community with mentorship and opportunity. Don't forget to check out our live stream with the Neutral Zone. You can catch the replay where we talk about bikers are always protecting the weak. 
Quote, we are uh, strong, committed to sisterhood, dedicated to empowering women riders while extending our hands to lift up our teenage girls and escort them into adulthood. Good stuff there out of the Richmond Standard. Now, this one just came out. A man arrested in motorcycle crash that was fatal. There's the picture of him. Uh, he was arrested in relation to a fatal motorcycle crash reported in December? It's almost February. Uh, Jose Luis Marquez, uh, 50, arrived at police headquarters uh, to turn himself in. He was served with warrants charging him with accident involving death and tampering with evidence. The case unfolded on December 23rd when police officers responded to a motorcycle crash reported at about 8.30 on McPherson and Shiloh Drive. The motorcyclist was taken to Doctor's Hospital where he was later pronounced dead. Authorities would identify him as Alan Caravivius, 28. Initial information uh, to the police at the scene was that the motorcyclist was the only person involved. The following day, Mesquez arrived at police headquarters to report that he was involved in a crash with the motorcyclist and pointed out damage. Well, you got to give this guy this. He went there, said he was in, you know, he was a part of this. Where he didn't have to because they thought he was by himself. Uh, the investigation revealed that the gray Silverado left the scene of the accident at the time the officers arrived. The truck appeared to be have been washed and detailed, and they presented their findings to the Webb County District's office. Well, got to give it to the guy. At least he came forward, you know what I mean? You know, still sad state of affairs uh, with that. What do you think about these time periods, man? Facebook Messenger. I know technology is a big useful deal, but to think you can get away with uh, dealing that kind of stuff over Facebook Messenger, you must be a lunatic. You never use a phone. You, you can't even use throwaways. This technology this government has is out of this world, basically. It probably came from out of this world, if you ask me. So they'd attract about anything you do. It's a business that really has no payoffs, if you ask me. Uh, it's more risk, less reward, because you have to factor in your time that you're going to be serving, lawyer fees and all that. And by the time that's all done, you probably lost your ass on it. You know, driving around in the nice bikes and the nice cars, whatever. But in the end, I can't believe Messenger. And again, WhatsApp is owned by Facebook. And there has been cases where Facebook handed over everybody's records off of WhatsApp. So try Signal. Uh, that's one I like using is Signal. It's based outside of the country. As far as emails, Proton. But... Even those ain't guaranteed, if you know what I mean. Anyway, don't forget to go visit ProudHooligan.com. Go get your shirts, man. We got some cool designs we just put up. Uh, we're going to run them until the end of February. And then we're going to stop running them designs and go with some other designs. So, you know, collector's item stuff. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Go over to Instagram. And then you can listen to the second half of the show either live by going in our Discord right now. It's in the comments section. Or go over to our podcasts and platforms. I got the cute China doll with me for the second half. I'll talk to you later. I'll see you on the other side for those that are on the radio. Rock on.